Hello for followers and welcome back to Mr. M. Fretwell Plays Minecraft. And in today's episode we're going to be building a tree farm underground. But before we get into all of that I just want to show you a bit of stuff that I've done off camera. I cleaned this uh, furnace room area up a little bit here, made it a bit nicer and a bit more clean. And I've added these wooden beams in and I really like them. Um, I've added them around to various different places where rooms and stuff are going to be and they mark a nice clear path um, and I can put picture frames on them or whatever I decide to. Got one up here as well and I've been generally just kind of patching things up here and there mainly. I've been making some pistons and adding the piston lighting idea that I had um, though it's not mine originally of course but it looks quite nice. I've been adding the pumpkins around using this setup here, not completely finished it of course um, and I have to a degree finished the path to the zombie grinder a bit more here we have the grass spreading down here now I may work on this more off camera um, most certainly while I get things finished but we've now got a reliable path over there to the zombie grinder so nice and easy to find now compared to getting lost all the time like I was before obviously the grass has still got to spread down here I'm not fully decided on on the whole beam look from the other side it kind of looks a bit a bit narrow I mean like here this is the kind of look I really want to go for so I may end up opening this cavern up a bit more but I want to build a tree farm in here um, as we've already got kind of a half carved out cavern as it is so it gives me something to work with as well as the fact that I'm looking for a fairly large room uh, to actually plant my trees in um, and I want to dig it as high as I can actually get so that would be this block right here so how many in height would that give me I'm just gonna put that there one two three four five six seven if you include that block so I think that that's a good height to be growing trees at I don't want it to be much taller than that really um, and I'm thinking of making it 31 wide what's up there nothing I must have just filled that hole in there might have been some ore or something up there so I want it to be a fairly large tree farm so how wide have we already got it we've got three here four five six seven so I want to make it 31 in total so what is 31 halved it's 15 and a bit isn't it really so we've got seven already so this would make it eight that would be nine ten eleven twelve <laughs> thirteen fourteen oh we're busting into something else here and took a great big tumble as well there's a cave spider spawner that I shut down apparently it's gonna fill this in so what are we looking at here how far can I really go with this um, I've completely lost count now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen we've got seventeen going on here and from the middle we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there's only six from this side um, would like to make it sort of like match with this in the middle um, so I guess we could say that that is one three five one three five seven so we've got one three five seven nine eleven so that's going to give me eight and then that's going to give me nine ten and then eleven so now we're up to twenty two um, at this point we're up to twenty two wide I want to make it a bit wider than that so we want to go 23, 24, 25, 26 and what, what is this? I don't think this is really anything. Um, so that's going to give me 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, um, 13, 15 so it's going to give me 15 and we've got 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 it's going to be 13 that's going to give me 15 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So now we would need to go one extra on either side and that would give us the necessary width that I'm looking for. So there we go, that's the width of the tree farm and I want to make the length sort of 51 if I can and that is much easier because all I have to do is carve it out one way and then just empty the rest of the room so I think I'm going to do that right here so we've got one, two, three, four, that's going to be five and there's an easy way to do this just use your pick go as far as you can and that is five so this is now ten this will be fifteen twenty I've got some gravel here this will be twenty five and then this thirty so this is very very simple to do uh, if you want to make your own tree farm now we're up to what is going to be thirty five and then forty and oh hello ah ah this is that ravine um, that I was talking about the other episode where we've come out so where are we at now um, alright well I can scale it down a little bit if we need to we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 this would be 40 I wanted to go to 50 that's not going to be possible um, now I'm looking here am I at any point going to come outwards yeah so we need to come back to as far as here really don't we and I think at this point we should avoid the ravine completely because I, I want to probably reuse the ravine for something else to be honest so that's kind of what's going to be the length that's going to be plenty big enough for the wood that I'm going to use I can always build bigger tree farms at a later date and go on the surface where room's not really a problem. So now what we need to do is empty this place uh, completely. And I think what I'm going to do first is actually rather than doing that, just kind of open up the cavern to the point where we have it too high. So And then I can also fill in any, ooh, any gaps. And I tell you what, that lava's just going to bug me so I'm gonna fill it in and that will go away but I am gonna have to put some torches down to prevent mob spawns because that was actually providing light and I don't want cave spiders spawning in here so there we go okay so now this bits quite boring so I'm gonna probably cut the camera here because it's just gonna be me doing some tedious digging um, and there's not too much interest in that so I'm going to dig the whole thing out so that I'm too high um, and then what I'll do is I will continue on I'll give you a little update of where we're at and then I'm going to carve it to the correct height then we will work on decorating the tree farm out as well as um, putting the saplings in and hopefully it will grow so <laughs> I will be right back guys <laughs>
Look at this guy, man, tracking me all the way from over there. So, I've got about a good way into the project. I've carved the room out. Now all I've got to do is do the really tedious bit of ripping all the roof out to give me enough room. Now, I've noticed that slimes are spawning in this area, so when I come to designing it, I'm going to have to incorporate half slabs into my design as much as possible to stop that from happening, because I don't want slimes in my tree farm. I want my tree farm to just be a tree farm, not a slime farm as well. So that is something that I'm going to have to look into um, as regards that. You may have noticed that I decided to do a little speed thing. Uh, I guess you could call it a time lapse. Uh, I did over for that, and I really like that. I think it will turn out pretty good. Um, so now it comes to the tedious part of carving this out, um, and I'm getting a good amount of cobble, which is excellent uh, because I want cobble for a upcoming project. Now we have this water that's here. Now I wonder, can I miss this completely? Because if I can, that would be amazing. I'll probably deal with it then at a later time. I don't want it spilling in as I'm trying to mine things out. So I'm hoping that we can miss that anyway. So so yeah, now it's going to be a case of uh, dealing with this, which is uh, incredibly boring. My work pickers took a real beating in doing this task. But on the bright side, this means now that I'm going to have infinite access to wood underground. So that's going to make this a whole ton easier. Uh, uh, in future so I don't have to go back up to uh, the surface plus I can tear it all down and not worry too much about uh, the landscape getting ruined which is why I wanted to build a proper tree farm down here um, so that I could just freely tear down all the logs without problem I wanna whoa hello yeah there is a cave back here I'm gonna have to deal with so uh, I'm gonna have to deal with that as well so I'm hoping that this is going to turn out good. I think we've got a good size now for a tree farm here. It doesn't need to be much bigger than this, I don't think. It's going to give us the ideal size that we really want. Um, because I don't need tons and tons and tons of logs. But I do want to get some machines going in here. I want that kind of room as well um, to build charcoal making machines and the such. Things involving wood, so that is something that if I have the room to do, it's going to make it a whole ton easier to get actually done. So I'm not going to time lapse this bit because this is a very, very boring section. Thankfully, though, where this lava pool was is going to give me a lot easier time on the whole digging. So this is getting to be a tedious bit, and I'm not going to make you watch any more of this. So I will be right back this time for real when I've carved the whole room out and then we will look at doing some decoration um, in here and I'm probably going to use some wooden slabs and stuff for that. Or maybe some stone bricks. They may equally look nice. I don't know. But I kind of do want to vary it up from just stone bricks uh, all the time. But anyway, uh, I will be right back once I've done. So once again, I shall be right back guys.